So welcome to my first video on the channel. Uh, this is a first impressions video of my Polo GTI. I've had the car two weeks, three weeks now. Uh, and I've really been enjoying it. So I thought I'd just put it out there. You know, the things I do and don't like about the car and things that I want to get changed. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I've got plenty more content to come. We'll get into this video. So to start with at the front then, uh, I think it looks great OEM to be honest. There's not too much I'm going to be changing from the front of the car. The problem with the headlights is it's, they use a halogen bulb in the um, GTI, not the GTI Plus. That The GTI Plus comes with LED headlights. And also, as I point out in the video in a minute, the red stripe, um, you know, the, the GTI kind of look, it's carried on into the headlight in the GTI Plus, but it's not in the normal GTI. I think that's a bit poor from Vo Volkswagen. Um, I am going to be getting that changed. I'll probably get the uh, inlet of the uh, headlamp wrapped in red. So then, as you can see, above the GTI badge is sort of like a white strip. I'm going to get that black. It just makes the grille look that bit better. Uh, it makes it look bigger and sportier, so I'll probably be doing that. Front splitter, I'll probably leave alone because there's quite a lot of speed bumps where I live. I don't really want to be uh, driving around with half a splitter hanging off. The wheels, they're really not to my taste. Diamond cut wheels just aren't my thing, so I'll be getting them changed. Maybe get some Pretorias, like on the Golf R, that'll look pretty cool, or maybe just some like OZ racing wheels. Uh, I've got some carbon wind mirror caps coming. Um, I noticed when I picked the car up, there was a stone chip on the wind mirror, so it's more of a protection thing that'll look a bit sportier. I'll probably be getting the roof wrap black as well. Um, my old car had a black roof, and I think it really sets it off against the white. So I'll probably definitely be doing that. I've got some uh, headlight eyebrows coming as well. They just cover the top of the headlight, make it look black. So that'll look pretty cool. Window tints is probably on the agenda as well, just because, you know, most cars look better with window tints. At the back of the car then, uh, I have a spoiler on its way. Um, when I say spoiler, it's not like a massive wing. It's, it's more like a boot lip. Um, but I'll be looking forward to fitting that. And I think it'll make the car look, you know, a bit that bit more aggressive at the back. I'll probably leave most of the back of the car alone, but new new exhaust maybe when um, when I can find one that I like the tone of because it's a bit mellow in the GTI as you'll see in a minute. But it does sound good OEM, but I'll probably be getting that changed. Maybe a rear diffuser as well, just to make that the car look a bit chunkier at the back. The ride height at the back's a bit bizarre. It almost looks like the wheels are too small. Um, so I probably will get a diffuser. So I won't be getting the car lowered. It's just not practical. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and stay tuned. Please like and subscribe and I'll get into the interior of the car and a little drive. You do get a nice little turbo swoop actually from my per, um, from the front of the car. I don't know if you could pick that up. I will do that in a second, but it sounds good from standard. I will be putting an exhaust system on. Um, they are pretty pricey, so I'll have to wait until I've <laughs> got a bit more disposable income. Um, but yeah, it's a good looking little car, especially from the back. We'll be getting a rear diffuser and the spoilers coming in soon. That fits nicely. Don't see many of them about these days. Yeah, first impressions of the car then, I'm a week in and I'm loving it. There is a few bits that I am going to change, but exterior wise, I think it looks great as it is. Apart from the wheels, I'm not a fan at all. Um, but yeah, so we'll get inside, um, do a bit of driving. Right, so first little thing, first impressions that I'm not really happy about. When I'm in sport mode, in the automatic settings, so I'm not using the paddles, the car takes forever to change and you look so antisocial. I mean, it makes a good noise. Right, we have a big car coming up, so I am gonna just pull in here and wait for it to pass and not hit the wall. Um, so say if you're going up a hill and the car's in second, it will rev out in sport mode really far. Um, it just sounds a bit antisocial and uh, like you uh, are just trying to make as much noise as possible which is slightly annoying um i don't really know how to get past that you can as well if you're in dsg mode um it's just the automatic setting uh, you can upshift yourself which I, I do but it's just you know you put the car in automatic to uh to not do that if you want to do the paddles you stick it in manual but it doesn't do that in the uh you know the normal mode and eco mode as the car doesn't rev out as much 
when it's not in sport mode. I've never been down here. I don't know where it goes, but it's pretty tight. Um, oh, pothole. Ah, bloody hell. So that is one thing I'm not a fan of in the car. The sound in here sounds brilliant because it is artificially amplified through the speakers. Um, it will be nice to see one from the perspective of outside. Um, I, my dad is insured on the car, so I'll get him to uh, probably come out with me one time and we'll uh, we'll film something. Um, right, I'm going to bear with. Oh, don't hit any rocks or walls. Oh. Right, we'll head back up here. Yeah, so he can do like a, a drive-by uh, so I can hear the car. My girlfriend said it sounds pretty good, uh, so I'll take a word for it. But I am going to put an exhaust. I just need to save up a bit of cash first because they are well in excess of 600 to to £1,000, depending on what you get. Uh, I also need to do my research into what exhaust, you know, which sounds best. I know Scorpion do one, Miltec do one, and there's another car coming down, a Land Rover. This should be fun. Uh, Army Tricks is just way out of my budget, unfortunately, as cool as Army Tricks are. I'm not going to launch it, I'll just put left foot brake and floor it, so we'll go. And that's 50 mile an hour. It's just so quick, like the car is just unbelievably fast and it's, it's fast enough for, you know, I've, I've not really driven cars of this calibre on public roads, so it's nice to learn before you go into some rear wheel drive and Something that could possibly kill you. Um, but it, it's nice just to uh, have a car that's not too aggressive, but does the job and will do the job for many people. So it does sound good in the manual mode um, with the sports exhaust engaged in sport mode. And the car revs out a lot further. I know I'm controlling the paddles, but in the normal mode, the car does sound um, really well. But I did, it's in the higher gears that it just, like, you see I'm changing down. Until you change down to second and first, it just doesn't sound brilliant. Hopefully down here we'll see some nice cars. I always see nice cars down here, so. Yeah, it's just a cool little car. And you know, I, I really wanted a Golf GTI, I won't lie. Or a Golf R on, say, a 15 plate. The problem with the Golf R it's a bit dated on the inside and the outside look of a Mark 7. So I'll just give you an example now of what we were talking about earlier. I'm in manual mode um, and we're going into a 30 mile an hour. So, so we're in sixth gear, five, no change. Four, can't hear anything. Third, nothing. Second, then you finally hear something. So that is something I want to get changed on the car. Um, uh, that's going to have to be an exhaust system or maybe a res delete something. Um, because the car's not very old, um, regarding the new shape, I will have to look into it. I can't really find many res delete kits for it. There is one, but um, I, I think I'd have to import it from Germany. So we'll see about that, but an exhaust is definitely inbound. So I'm back in a 30 now, so I just have to watch my speed through there because I think there's cameras. Um, anyone who's wanting a Golf GTI, I wanted one. I could have afforded one, but I'd have had to have the manual gearbox, which isn't a problem. I like driving a manual. My old car was manual, but it's, it, you get more of a noise with the uh, DSG, uh, and it's a bit more fun, I suppose. In the, well, is it? <laughs> it's a bit more fun in the noise, you know, and learning to use a DSG. Because I've never had a DSG box before uh, with paddles, so it's something new for me to learn. Um, but honestly, this car does the job just fine. It sounds pretty good. It handles so well because it's so light, so the power to weight ratio's increased. It's 200 brake horsepower in a small hot hatch, and it just flies, it really does. The pickup is fantastic. One of the things that I don't like about the car is, and I know maybe I'm being a bit too picky with it, is the paddles. When you're changing gear, it tells you that instantly the car's changed gear up or down. However, there's there's a bit of a lag before it actually does, you know, pull through and change the gear. So I'm probably being picky. I know this isn't a Lamborghini, it's, it's a VW Polo, but 
maybe I'd want it to be a bit more instant because sometimes you'll be revving the car out because you've what, put your foot down if you're coming into a national speed limit and it holds at the red line before it changes even though you've already clicked before it even got to the red line so that's just a little uh, piece of the car that I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of but, like just look at the pickup like that's to, straight to 40 in no time at all it just <laughs> I just enjoy the car so much as you can probably tell from my voice but you won't believe the amount of looks that this car gets as well people passing the amount of people that have said oh have you, oh, have you got a Golf GTI I have to say in a uh, quite reluctant voice uh, no it's a Polo but way up try not to uh, come on my side pal uh, but for the money that you're saving from not buying a Golf GTI the stuff that you can do to this car and there's loads of new things that have been brought out as well with the car not being too old in the uh, new shape there are lots see this is a thing it's, it's stuck in third now then it needs to change up when it's in sport mode so I'll just do that for the car but there's there's so many things oh what have we got here we have a Golf R Mark 7 a red one nice car um, but there's loads of stuff and mods that are coming out and companies are see seeming to uh, bring more mods for the car so I'm looking forward to seeing what the potential is to do with this car and you know what what I can uh, look into doing I'm, I won't lie I'm not too um, clued up on engine modifications one of my friends is um, quite you know clued up in uh, that area so he gives me plenty of advice and uh, sends me loads of stuff that I don't honestly know what any of them do um, so it'll be uh, it'll be good to see what we can do with the car and obviously I'll, I'll, I'll learn as I go along with it. well just look at the pickup like that's 60 it's just so quick but yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with the car and what potential it brings and get as much as I can out of it for you know a reasonably decent amount of money so I'll stick it into uh, manual mode because we are about to go into a national speed limit. The car handles so well, like, it just sticks to the road. I mean, the sound sounds brilliant as well when you're, uh, when you're in the lower gears and higher rev ranges. Um, but I, I just love this car and I, can, I will recommend it to anyone. Other cars in its category are sort of like the Ford Fiesta ST. Um, I have a mate who's got a Fiesta ST2, so hopefully we can uh, get him on the channel and we can compare the two cars. But the problem I have with the Fiesta ST is you can get an ST line that doesn't have the engine that looks exactly the same. There's nothing in the Polo line. The R line looks similar, but it's, it's quite distant from the looks of the GTI. Whereas with the Fiesta ST, I just feel like when someone's coming past you, you have to really squint your eyes and look to see which model it is uh, of the ST range, which is a bit annoying. So on paper, that is a better car. Apparently it handles better. Uh, it has better sound from stock, uh, but it only comes in a manual and I did want the G DSG box. Um, so that's just, you know, personal preference, but what else could you get? John Cooper works mini maybe a second hand one um, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway uh, like and subscribe and my Instagram is nc underscore bhp so go like all my pictures if you will uh, uh, do me a great favour in growing my channel and my uh, social media account and anyone who wants to collab for a video as well uh, let me know and uh, I'm sure we can sort something out so I hope you enjoyed the video a uh, bit of fun in lockdown uh, if any of you are bored and enjoy car content um, I'll probably be making another video this week, so stay tuned. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.